Hi, and welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on probability. A vendor is trying to match his stock to what is popular. He keeps records and finds after a week of sales, the number or the frequency of hamburgers, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, and chicken wraps, which are sold at his place of business. So he just wants to figure out their relative frequency. The raw data tells a good story, but the relative frequency will tell him a better story and just do a little bit of work with these numbers. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is find out how many items in total he sold. So we're gonna add the 126, the 134, the 87, and the 73, and find out he sold a total of 420 items. Okay, so to figure out the relative frequency, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that 420, we're gonna take 126 divided by 420. It says round to three decimal places. This is actually a pretty nice number. This just is, we could bring it out three decimal places. It'll be zeros. Then we have 134 divided by 420. And this comes out to 0 0.319. The rest of these numbers are rounded by the rules of math. 87 divided by 420 which comes out to 0 0.207. And then we have 73 divided by 420. Um, I will remind you if you have not watched any other videos or have not learned the rules of probability, um, relative frequency and probability is bound to be between zero and one. It has to be positive. You cannot have a number larger than one. If you ever are in a probability class and you find yourself finding a probability greater than one, you have done something wrong. If you ever find a probability that is negative, you have done something wrong. Probability has to be between zero and one. Now, if you were asked to find the percent and it becomes 20.7%, that is a percent. And a percent is allowed to be greater than one. But the probability, if you are looking for probability, a relative frequency, you better have a zero first or a fraction where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Okay, next we are coming down here. I have a feeling you're going to lose that table, so hopefully you have it all written down. Um, I will not lose all of the table yet. Okay, um, it says find the probability of the hamburger, so that's just that 0 0.3. Hamburger, cheeseburger. When you're looking for the hamburger, uh, probability of multiple things, you just add them together. So this is just gonna be 0 0.3 plus 0 0.319, which will be 0 0.619. Um, when we get to the next one, where we're looking for the probability of a hot dog or chicken wrap, we have 0 0.207 plus 0 0.174, which comes out to 0. 381. Now, if I were to add these up and add straight down, I get 1.000. Or I could do 420 divided by 420. Now, this 1.000 is really interesting because if I add them up, I actually get 1.000. 9 plus 7 is 16 plus 4 is 20. Carry the 2. 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 2 is 10, carry the 1. 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 9, but I had that 1 I carried, which is 10. It is a perfect 1.0. But because three of my numbers were rounded, um, because three of my numbers were rounded, this number could have ended up as 1.001 or 1.002 or 0 0.999 or 0 0.998. With three rounded numbers, the fact that I had a 1.000 was a fluke. It could have really, really easily not been 1.000 because of rounding. Rounding brings error. This is why you have math teachers who demand fractions all the time. It's because rounding brings error and the more you round, the more error and the uglier your answers get. So fractions are precision and exact and beautiful. Anyway, why do I bring all this up? Well, right here, you're being asked about hamburger, hot dog, chicken wrap, which is asking three things, or we could just take one minus that hot uh, cheeseburger, which is missed, which is 0 0.319, the one missing piece, and get 0 0.681. 
because the whole sample space has to add up to one. If you're asked about all but the missing one, just subtract the missing one out. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.